Hi, you all. Um, this is uh, about the fourth or fifth week in the semester. I wanted to bring up the um, uh, the first day handout for this class, and I just wanted you to see that for this semester, it's the winter semester, we're on February 8th. So what I had wanted to do at February 8th was to um, not only view resumes and cover letters for you, but I wanted to give you examples of some students who have already turned in some of their material. So what I'm going to do is to show you, um, I'll put this on my other screen, is I have received um, a few portfolios and I have the permission from the students to show their material on the screen. So I'm going to bring back this file and then I'm going to go show you a student that's already been out there and then I'm going to show you a tear sheet versus a portfolio that was put together with 11 by 14. But um, one of the students um, had given me a portfolio. His name is Jonathan Maras, and I think he has done a beautiful job. Let me go back to his cover page, and I just wanted you to see um, that I he gave me single pages, and I went to In Acrobat, Page Display, Two Page View, and I'm just going to go forward on this just so you can get a feel of what his portfolio looks like. Um, it's more arty than it is um, just art and, or just design, but I want you to see where this young man's head is and that he's just populating his content right now to get it in there. And he's, he's working on these files. I think he's done a fabulous job in laying out his portfolio. And you can see how he's just starting to populate the left and right pages. But I really like how he has given me his overall layout. And that's what I hope to get from you soon is just the way your layout is going to look. So I'm going to go from this student to um, Sandy's portfolio. Let me see if I can find it real fast here. I, oh, um, her portfolio, uh, uh, I'm going to come back to this, but her portfolio I actually did in Adobe InDesign. So um, I'm just going to leave that one here and then I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go to um, in her portfolio I'm going to go to in InDesign as you can see she has single pages right over here to the left to the right in her layer palette and I'm going to start her um, and if I have an issue with it I'll just change it but I'm going to start her facing pages at page 2 I believe and I wanted to do that so that I could enter um, the mode um, so that I could enter the mode called Shift W, which is presentation mode, and I just wanted to see, all right, I'm having an issue here. So let me come, oh, I'm on the final page of her stuff. So um, I just needed to click up to the first page. Now, um, let me see if this is, that's her program cover. So instead of starting at page two, I probably, let me enter Shift W and see what that looks like. So this is the cover page and I have it backwards. So let me go um, hit escape and then I'm gonna go to um, document setup and instead of starting at page two, I think I'll start at page three. So now I should have her cover set up right. So now let's go here. Let me hit Shift W. And now there is her cover. Sandy Bombassi has done a beautiful job in laying out her portfolio to me and giving me her content on the page. And this is her content. It may not come up. She's still organizing her pages. But I love her content as she is showing me. This is her left and right hand page as she is going through here. And let's just see now this probably will switch. that page that's on the right should be on the left but she's just populating her content so I think that's why I actually had it as page two I'll go back and I'll hit escape because I want you to see it kind of the way it's supposed to be laid out so I'll go back to document set up for this one and this is what I'll do with yours I just want to see how this is working now let me hit shift W now and we can see how this is looking here um, and Shift W, by the way, I should tell you where I'm going. Shift W is under um, View, um, Screen Mode, and Presentation Mode, which is Shift W. Okay, so I'll hit Shift W, and then Sandy has given me. I'm going to go right back to the beginning of her file. That's her cover. That's her first page on the left, on the right. I'm sorry, and now even though that's backwards, this is not from this point on. But look at how she's populating her page. Look at the fresh, good feel of this. Look at how she has altered her colors and given me a really, me being the viewer, the client, the employer, 
um, she's given me a real good fresh feel of how her portfolio is moving and this is what I want to see again I'm saying this is what I want to see from you I want to see what your where your head is I want to see how you're feeling she's even populated the rest of her portfolio here but not organized it completely I love how she has her thumbnails and her concept and her design stage to show along with it I'm reversing the order now and look at how she thinks that she's giving me the employer the client the whole ability to see her her content as it moves through now um, some of the stuff that she has she hasn't even included in there right now whoops I don't want that remind me later okay and I'm going to go to this this student's portfolio which is going to be a layout now this is um, another version this is Howard St. John's portfolio and let me hit shift W on this but let me hit to his first page first now this is Howard St. John's look at how fresh and how his portfolio is showing me a really good display and I'm getting the feel of what Howard wants to do I love his CMYK approach I love his fresh approach here he's not quite organized that but I see his thumbnail roughs I know that eventually we're going to work together to put them in the right place if this is not the right place yet but this is what I need to see this is the kind of stage that I need to see yours in within the next few weeks of this class I love what he has done here he's given me a really good feel for his content look at how fresh those are for the core group on the right hand side and look at how he's showing me his thought process his thumbnail process I'm gonna hit escape now and I'm gonna go to this other one which I think is also Sandy's and let me see if I have um, this one might have more of her content in here I'm don't know nope, you know what that's the same one let me go to this other one um, that uh, let me minimize the screen and go to this other one that um, I want to see what this one has to offer let me update these links and it's going to open up and update the links and this is um, one that she had in the works I want to see if she has more of her design element in here so let me um, go to document setup again let me hit facing pages and I'll start on page one just to see how that looks okay so I'll double click this and we'll come right up to this page I'll hit command zero so I can at least see the page in full view then I'll hit shift W and even though she's changed this layout this still gives me a really fresh feel and look at how Sandy has populated her first page with her thumbnail roughs absolutely adore this it's got a fresh good feel and I want you to see how she has done her resume and her cover letter for an eventual edition on her tear sheet but um, now look at how she's populating these pages and look at how just absolutely beautiful this looks um, these pages here are gorgeous um, good feel um, obviously what's on the left needs to be on the right and what's on the right needs to be on the left but that's just something that's in the works look at how she has just given me so much content here I love her typography layouts now to please in your mind reverse them I could easily start this at the different page just to see what this looks like maybe I will maybe I'll go to document setup and I will just give myself the feel I'll start this on page two or I'll start this on page three and let me hit shift W and see if that has changed anything I don't think so so let me go to document setup again and start this on page three and let's see if that switches the content to shift W and it has not so I just that doesn't matter to me but look at I love that entire approach how she's showing me her finished modern poster she's showing me all the concept stage this is just a really good feel now it's this is the correct format so this is where that one needs to be look at how she has designed her own um, point of purchase her countertop display however you want to call this um, but that's a die cut over there and she's done a really good job in laying this out and giving me a really fresh feel that's her painted Photoshop car and you can see this is her Harper Charity Cruise poster so she's updating it as she goes she's not quite sure what she's gonna do with those graphics but they are beautiful and now since I have her on the screen I'm gonna minimize this and I'm gonna go right to the Acrobat file which is this 
and I want you to see how she has updated her cover letter here, okay? Um, let me see if I'm clicking on the right ones. This is her cover letter. I want you to see how she's taken her same logo and she has these very beautiful graphics that are going through and she is giving me a really good resume feel. Um, look at how she's given me two looks on the upper um, contact information up there and um, she's actually emailed back and forth and asked me which one I prefer. I said I like them both so it's going to be up to her. Um, really good job Sandy and at the this point in the semester you are tracking beautifully um she does class she does have a Behance page and um I think what I'll do is I'll just copy let me zoom into that Behance page on the bottom and let's go to let me see if I can grab that text I should be able to grab that text oh you know what it's not, I don't have to grab it I just have to click on it so let's just go to let me see if it's working that content should work let me go into Chrome and see if it's going into that Sandy's page I'm um, sorry that's Susan Glodich's page let me click on that again and see if that's working uh, let me grab a cross here I am not able to get inside that at the moment um, Behance.net Sandy Bombassi. So I'm going to put this on the other page. I want to actually go and do this the long way, even though it's kind of stupid. Um, let me go Sandy Bombassi and see if I get her Behance page coming straight up here. So let me see. Images for Sandy. Let me see about Behance. I should be more clear on this, but sometimes in finding stuff, you know, this is just going to be the way that it is. So let me go search the Behance page for Sandy. Should be it. Let me see. And here is Sandy's Bombassi page. So she's just starting to populate her content on um, LinkedIn and I think she's done a really nice job in just getting to the point in the semester where she is getting all her material going. Um, we have already discussed the Behance page and separating this out from, look, she has this under one column. I think she should have it under many columns, but that's just, it's a work in progress, okay? She's got her contact information over there, and if I scroll down, you'll see she has a quite a bit of content as I am moving down. Um, and this is just to get it on here. She can organize it as she goes. Let me click on Susan Glodich's page, and that's G-L-O-D-I-C-H. And I want you to see a student that's been out there for a while and what they've done. Please go to SusanGlodich's.com page and click on all of her content and see how global she is and see where your portfolio will be in a while, okay? I don't know how long a while that is, and we'll work together to get it to that point. So I'm going to minimize this screen. You can go to Sandy's page. I don't want to start clicking on this stuff because this movie is already lasting quite a bit of time. And the last thing that I wanted to do is to bring up Lisa Jansen's page. And let me put it back over here to show you the difference between a portfolio and a tear sheet. So um, let me enter, I think it's Command L to enter presentation mode on this. This is her portfolio. And I want you to see as I shift, shift through her portfolio, um, actually, I'm going to hit escape because I want you to see the outer portion. I don't want that to all be in black. So now I, I would like you to see the pages as they appear with gray. And let's just move through here. I have to click on this, please. And let's go backwards. And you can see her pages as I am going um, back towards the first page. That's her opening page. And now she has all of her content that is um, on the right-hand side. You can see that her logo is shifting on the left-hand side. And I have this in the multimedia drive should you want to go look at it. But let's see what she's done to orient her 11 by 14 portfolio page as you see it in front of you or her tear sheet. Let me hit command zero so you can see her tear sheet. Her tear sheet is just an eight and a half by 11 display of her work that is easily emailable, if that's a good word. And you just um, uh, put as many pieces on here, probably a four to five 
page tear sheet, which should include your resume and your cover letter. So she does have her resume in here, but look at how she's taken her Lisa Jensen logo populated it on the left hand side here and on her portfolio her Lisa Jensen logo follows in suit. So please um, work to get your initial layout to me. I would like to see yours as soon as possible and I hope this movie has helped give you an idea of what I want to see. It's a work in progress. Okay so let me know um, how your layout is going. Thank you.